Okay, so we have seen how to set basic data types uh, in the last video and how to set data types inside the arguments of a function and also inside variables. Now what we're going to see in this video is uh, something really interesting is that because TypeScript is going to take your, you know, um, uh, modern JavaScript code, uh, which contains uh, keywords like let and const, and it's going to transpile that into uh, old school JavaScript, uh, which has only var inside that, which runs on the old browsers. So uh, how does this handle the uh, the fact that let and const have block scope while var has function scope? Okay, uh, so uh, you can check out uh, the video uh, on the difference between let, const, and var uh, on the coding blocks channel to get uh, what's the difference between let and const and var. Um, so I'm just gonna assume that you know what the difference is between the three. Uh, so let's just uh, take a look at uh, how uh, TypeScript is gonna handle this difference. So if I uh, write something like uh, let a equal to uh, 10, and then I create a function, um, uh, nice, and I'm gonna write uh, a plus plus. And if I write, uh, you know, console.log a here, and I write uh, console.log uh, a here, Right, um, so this part is, I mean, pretty fine. I mean, it's all uh, going pretty nice right now here. If I just run this code, I'm gonna see um, uh, 10 printed. Uh, okay, uh, yeah. if I call nice here, I'm gonna see 10 printed uh, twice, of course. Yeah, 11 and 11, right? Now, let's take a look at uh, what happens if I do something like this, let a equal to 20 here. Uh, this is pretty much okay because um, since uh, var has function scope, the a that is uh, inside uh, the function uh, works perfectly fine. Uh, you know, this a is referring to the a inside the function, this a here refers to the a that has been you know declared outside the function okay so uh, until now it's pretty much fine but now as soon as i introduce a block scope so if i write if uh, true and i write console.log a and good good enough now i write let a equal to uh, 30 now you see what typescript does is that it introduces a new variable with the name a1 and it creates that in uh, the if true block, right? Um, which is well and good, but uh, what if I end up writing console.log uh, a underscore one? And that of course is gonna change everything because uh, now it will try to use the a1 variable that is set inside if loop. So, um, but TypeScript is smart enough. It knows when you're trying to trick it so TypeScript is going to just rename the inner variable into a2 because you are using a1 here and uh, it's going to give you an error right here is that you know uh, cannot find name a1 okay so it's going to give you a transpile time error and it's also going to sort the code correctly so that you know you don't run into any weird stuff happening out there right so uh, when we create a, like uh, uh, let scope variables TypeScript is going to transpile them to var but if we are using a block scope, TypeScript is going to create a new variable so that the effect uh, remains the same. Our code runs exactly the way we think it's going to run when uh, we write this code. And actually, this code is going to run, but uh, the effect that we get is going to still be the same. Okay, so this is pretty interesting, but it's good to know how TypeScript handles this thing so that you know um, when you uh, take some. Uh, TypeScript code transpile and JavaScript may look like, oh my god, uh, it, the let has turned into var, what about my scopes? So the scopes are fine, the scopes are preserved uh, using this, you know, jugglery of variable names uh, that TypeScript does out here, okay? Um, so I think pretty interesting, right? 